The CDC reported that in 2015, 33,000 people died of opioid overdose. So you can see how massive this problem is, that we lose 91 people every day to opioid overdose death. So we have a very serious opioid epidemic in the U.S. Um, we're probably, you know, we've become the prescription drug overdose capital of the planet now. We're just seeing mega dosages of really addictive prescriptions um, reaching patients all over. And it's, um, it's really tough because we don't have any solutions for this. We are trying to um, do some physician education and things, but we're still seeing massive amounts of um, of opioid prescriptions, both illegal and legal um, people accessing this. So there, there's some intriguing evidence that cannabis may be substitution therapy for opioid dependence. And this has become really important now because we're seeing, we're, we're losing so many lives each day. And we're wondering, could cannabis help curb this opioid epidemic? And we hope that we'll be able to do some more meaningful studies. Right now, we have you know some survey data and retrospective studies looking at the ways that cannabis has helped already kind of curb this opioid epidemic. But um, but we need a lot more data. We need real controlled trials in this area. Um, we had this great article that came out in JAMA. Remember in 2014 where they described this trend where in the 23 medical cannabis states that were operational, that there was an, a, a reduction in opioid overdose deaths of about 25%. And, and what was impressive was in, as the years went by, the longer a state had a medical cannabis law on the books, that number continued to drop. So we were seeing that patients who live in legal medical cannabis states are choosing cannabis over opioids.